Hello everyone. This is a video tutorial on how to make a garden out of pallets, mostly pallets, and some boards from Home Depot and Lowe's. Uh, I saw this picture on Pinterest, which is this picture. And I said to myself, I wonder if I could make one of those just out of pallets. Uh, next door to my job, uh, they throw away a lot of pallets and I got the permission to to take a few, which they gladly said, you know, help yourself, take as many as you want. Um, I brought home like 15 of them. And <clears throat> as you will see in the video down the road, it was way more than I needed, but it was better to have more, have enough than not have enough, you know. So uh had some issues on and off putting this thing together, but uh, this is the finished product. So here we go. It's mostly in high speed, so hope you enjoy it and um, thanks for watching. So this project was um, one of the hardest things I've ever done, believe it or not. Uh, I received all these, all these pallets. I had about 15 of them and me, I'm not such a big dude with tools, so all I had was a screwdriver and a hammer. And I pretty much had to just painstakingly take all the pallets apart and put them back together um, in, in five by five. That way I could uh, make like a wall for the dirt and doing 15 pallets with a screwdriver and a hammer in the sun uh, was not fun That is the worst part of this project, but after that it gets pretty much easier So here I am putting the pallets back together one by one I had a total of 15 uh, I was wanted to make sure I had enough so Putting them together is way easier than taking them apart because the nails were already on the pallets. Uh, probably the hard part was trying to align them because I tried to get all the pallets exactly the same, but there was probably about three or four of them that weren't the same. So, you know, you just gotta pretty much measure and get them together <clears throat> and figure it out how they're gonna go once you set it up, which I will be doing in a few seconds. I was racing against the sun, as you can see, it was early in the morning, and uh, lucky for me, I finished just in time before the sun took over and toasted me. But next, we'll be designing the garden. So as I was putting the garden together, I soon realized that it was way bigger than I was expecting. I realized that I had too many pallets so I started to break it down and make it smaller into the size of the photo that I got from Pinterest. So I started moving the pallets around, removing a couple, and finally it started to take shape. So next, I wanted to create the entrance to the garden. So I had to cut the three pallets in half and put them together to create the the entrance to the garden. I also wanted to get some pallets um, to put over those three pieces to make kind of like a shelf, make it like a flat surface. Uh, if we wanted to sit down inside or put some more potted plants on it. And this is pretty much what I'm doing here, taking some wood and Oh, my camera fell right there. My apologies. <laughs> so I'm putting the wood right now for the seats. And I'm also going to cut the two front pallets in half to make the entrance and make the pallets fit in the front. 
So right now I'm putting it together in five different parts. This is not the spot where it's going to be finalized at. Uh, I'm still going to move it to another location in my yard. So I wanted to move it in five parts instead of in 12 parts. So doing that right now, I'm trying to put it together to be able to move it a little easier to his final place where the garden is going to sit. So now I'm moving the garden to his final destination and putting it together. I have gotten some wood from Home Depot and I put those up in the corners as post and pretty much just making sure that everything's level and nice and straight and even before I start to dig. Oh, I'm gonna work on my um, thing today. Um, something that I gotta do, I gotta switch this board around and switch this board around. That way, those five boards are kind of all facing this way. And then um, I'm gonna have to move it probably back there somewhere and uh, dig up all this dirt, all this grass. And, um, and then once I get all that out, we'll put it back over here. I'm gonna go buy some more. I gotta buy one of these pieces of wood to put like right here and right there. Uh, then I gotta make a door. I gotta get the chicken wire to go all the way around these poles. And uh, that's pretty much the goal for today is to get out that done. Now, my wife wants to figure out a way to get more of these and put them all the way around. That way we have like some kind of storage, you know, all the way around, which is not a bad idea. Uh, my idea was, it probably looks kind of ugly, but my idea was to put some shelves back here, like small shelves to put like, you know, pots, not pots, to put, um, you know, potted plants uh, if she wanted to. See, we, this is our little garden right here. We have uh, green peppers and jalapenos and strawberries, mint, more jalapenos, some, what is that, basil? Um, a couple other little herbs. But um, yeah, so all this is all gonna be full of dirt. Calm down, puppies. This is gonna be all full of dirt, and we need to plant all our stuff in there. So it's a work in progress, but uh, we're gonna work on a little bit more today. Sensitivity five years later. All right, so went to Home Depot. Actually, I went to Lowe's, and I got this wood. And I'm planning to make a door right here. I also bought <clears throat> some chicken wire type multi-purpose net to put around the whole thing. And um, that's the project for today in this hot sun. How hot is it, baby? How hot is it? What? Like 100 degrees? Yeah. Super hot. And I bought some hinges and an old school hook for the door. And, um, and a little handle. I want it to look real old school, real, you know. Not all like with, you know, I don't have to have an alarm on it or nothing like that, <clears throat> you know. So there's gonna be some space in the top with no net. So that's gonna be pretty much the exposed part that's gonna have, um, I plan to have some bird houses on the top and and um, maybe some bird feeders. I have a bird feeder right here for hummingbirds that we have and they come all the time. But the first job before we start any of that is to dig out all this grass and all this dirt in here in the groove and pretty much right here because this is gonna be, I'm gonna put some paver stones in here. Oh, and I gotta flip these over because I gotta flip these around. 
So yeah, flip that around, flip that around. And then one of those long pieces of wood is gonna go right here. It's gonna come up right here, same thing right there. And that's where the door is gonna go. So I need to measure and make sure that uh, that I have enough for the door. Cause uh, one thing I'm not good at is, is measuring straight lines. Right, Ayla? What? Right? What? I'm weird. What? I'm weird, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. You guess? That's cool. All right, let's begin. And now what's the fun part? What's to dig? As you can see, the sun was already up and I got a real bad sunburn on my neck on this day, but I was so determined to finish. So, it was, so we moved it and now we're gonna start digging the other grass out and a lot, some of the dirt. Um, lucky for me, I have a forest in my backyard, so any grass or dirt or anything I dig out, I could just dump it back there uh, you know, cause it's pretty much like compost, I guess, you know, it's not like I'm littering or anything, but so here we are trying to clean it all up, making sure everything's nice and clean and no weeds and no grass and putting it in the garbage can and taking it back there. Um, yeah, we're just running around and making sure that, uh, you know, everything's nice and Nice and done and clean, ready to be, ready to be uh, finished. I was pretty desperate on this day. I just wanted to finish. I was still kind of sick and getting over it and the sun was not helping. So we move it back and now we're trying to make sure that everything fits nice. And you know, here we are. Now I have to reverse the boards like I said earlier in the video. Uh, my wife, she wanted them to face the other way. That way they're kind of, it, it, you kind of see the front of the wood just like on the inside of the of the garden and she wanted like those holes to be full with dirt for she could put some flowers in there as you'll see later on in the video towards the end but not not a big deal I, I got I got them off I reversed them screwed them back in and on we go so I ended up going to Home Depot again and got some more wood I was trying to work on the frame to put the door um, in the front of the garden so I put these post up, posts up and I measured and tried to see how big the door was gonna be made. Now, let me remind you, I've never done a garden like this before. So I'm kind of just playing it by, you know, just one day at a time. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of better ways to do this, but this was pretty much my way, I guess. So here I'm working on the door. I'm putting the door together and same thing i've never put a door together i've never made a door i've never made none of this stuff so this is pretty much a trial and error and lucky for me i'm not wearing no eye protection or nothing and uh i don't know what i was thinking but i'm just maybe it was just because i was sick and i wasn't thinking straight but i was real desperate to get this done so the door is finally starting to take shape kind of so now I'm putting the finishing touches on this door working on the top part uh, to make the rectangle and um, <clears throat> I finally get the top on and I decided to take a break and start on a different part of this garden so this is pretty much where my Puerto Rican side comes out I get the chicken wire and instead of getting a professional stapler, I'm using a house stapler to staple the chicken wire to the wood. Uh, to me, it's, it works fine. Uh, just using a staples. I didn't feel like investing in a new stapler gun. So this will work for now. If it seems to fail down the road, then I'll get a, I'll invest in one and, uh, you know, I'll use a real stapler gun to make it work. So now I'm putting in the little handle for the door along with the little hook to close the door. Um, I started to realize how flimsy the door was and this is where you learn the hard way. I needed an extra piece of wood in the middle of the door. So now I am digging, making sure the door fits and opens and closes nice. Um, I'm about to cut a piece of wood to put in the middle. That way the door is not too flimsy. Uh, to show to put some more support that way even when i put the chicken wire over it i could staple it to that middle wood and it'll be 
more secure and stable and it won't fall apart because cheap staples are cheap staples. So the door is finished and I'm about to put it up uh, on the frame to see how it fits and I start to realize that I'm going to put a going to have to put a piece of wood on the top to be able to keep the frame nice and even for the door won't get stuck when you open and close it so so now I'm working on the hinges putting the hinges on was pretty easy uh, the hard part was trying to keep it level and uh, making it even for it won't scrub against the other side so had to do a lot of adjusting As you can see, I got the door on. And it's probably not as level as it could be, but it works. So I wanted to make an old school, old school little lock. Door opens pretty nice. I just gotta put a piece of wood for this net all the way around. One, two, three, four, five pieces. And then a net on the door and we should be done. Fill it up with dirt in there, fill it up with sand over here. And um, I will finish this today. If I don't, I'll give everybody on Facebook a hundred dollars. Psych! Here we go. Got me all my dirt, my sand, my wood. I gotta finish this damn project that I've been working on for like two weeks. But I was sick, so bear with me. So here, I'm putting the wood on the frame to go all the way around to be able to support the net, uh, the chicken wire. So I had to do the proper cuts to put five pieces uh, all the way around. So now I got the wood and I'm measuring all the pieces and cutting them to the right length to be able to put it all the way around for the to make sure the chicken wire uh, stays nice and tight and does not sag because I saw a bird land on the chicken wire and um, so this that's why I decided to put this wood all the way around so my son came out to help me and we pretty much did it real fast probably took about 20 30 minutes to uh, to measure and cut and screw in all the all the boards on uh, the sun was pretty much beaming on us all day. So next was putting the chicken wire on the door. Uh, I know I should have put the wire, the chicken wire, before I put the door up on the hinge, but uh, that is, you know, lesson learned. So on the next one, I would, uh, I would I'd rather put the chicken wire before hanging up the door, which will make it so much easier to put it together. Ah, oh, darn. Need the dirt. Just need the dirt. Yeah, we'll do the dirt. Nope. Why? Because you're ugly. <laughs> got done. Got the net. The hook. All right, time to put some dirt in. Do it. Onto the store to get some plants and vegetables to put in the garden. So many to choose from. What is this? You love me? You love me? Just want to make sure. Look. Look at all that dirt. Eight bags and five plants. We're going to do this. It's only because I love you. So this is our finished product. We hung up some welcome signs and some wind chimes. 
put some wood down here for decoration with some pots. We planted some vines, a few flowers. We still have to do the the rocks to uh, for the for the bed. Got some butterflies with uh, LED lights and sun powered. They're sun powered. What? Got a bunch of tomatoes and peppers and herbs. The nets up. Welcome to our garden. Pretty happy with how it ended up. It was a project, nonetheless. And there's some spots that we could put stuff in, like the pool net and some shovels. Uh, down the road, we're gonna put some hooks up there, maybe some shelves. We're gonna put some bird feeders in the top. Uh, we're gonna put some wood to go from there to there to hang some more wind chimes and some other uh, bird feeders and stuff like that. So birdhouses, that's what I meant, birdhouses. But, but yeah, this is it, it is finished. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please share and like and follow, which will be highly appreciated. And um, thanks for watching.